I'm Dr. Rajit Saluja, and today we're going to perform an intraosseous bioplasty of the medial femoral condyle. This patient has a bone marrow edema lesion in the medial femoral condyle. We have identified it on an MRI scan, and typically as we do this procedure, we've already obtained the bone marrow aspirate from the pelvis, typically from the posterior superior iliac spine. This aspirate, we typically obtain about 60 cc's, and we use the Arthrex Angel apparatus to obtain the concentrate. This 5 cc's is then mixed with 5 cc's of allosync, which is the demineralized bone matrix. To that, we combine a cc of contrast, which allows us to visualize the injection procedure under fluoroscopy. We have the demineralized bone matrix and the bone marrow aspirate concentrate mixture. We've divided them into five uh, one cc syringes. I like to use one cc syringes because uh, if you have multiple lesions, it's easier to subdivide how much total material you have and you can allocate it depending on where the lesions are the largest. We'll start with having our leg in extension. We already completed the arthroscopic part of the procedure. Meniscal debridement has already been carried out. We'll bring the fluoroscopy on an AP view. We'll typically take a spinal needle, find the entry point, and take an image at this point. You can see how we're at a good spot here on an AP view. We've already identified the entry point for the injection site. And at this point, we'll go ahead and make a small nick with an 11 blade. This is the um, IOBP closed tip delivery cannula. I typically use the closed tip because it allows me to fill the lesion more circumferentially. I like to go parallel to the joint line. As you can see, the ends are pointed downwards here. We'll take our first injection syringe. We'll um, inject that into the uh, delivery system. Now we'll um, gradually impact this in. You can see some of the material is coming out on the uh, image. Then I'll rotate the device and get some of the more anterior portion filling. And we'll rotate it, some of the posterior portion. We'll withdraw the delivery system a little bit. We'll take another 1cc syringe. On the image on the right, you can see how the lesion has been filled with the bone marrow concentrate and the demineralized bone. You can get AP and a lot of use at this time, and you can save the images, and you can see how the lesion is filled to your desired goal.